Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the new operating system <coughs> of Apple that has been, um, that they showed on the WWDC on this, uh, the 2nd of June, and, um, and I got the version, I got the beta version, um, yeah, and I just wanted to show you kind of what are the best features and h how it looks like and the differences. So, as you can see, even now, you can see kind of the difference. Looking at the icons, how the files are different, like they're blue and, oh, well, they were blue, but they're, you can still see the difference, like, and um, this nice bar, you can see the transparencies, and right when I open Safari, for example, it's kind of slow, because my internet is going slow now. Um, I go to YouTube, for example, <coughs> Sorry for the internet speed. And as you can see here on the bar, when I scroll down, it just takes the color of the bar. See, so you can't see it so much here. The red on the right, and yeah, it's really nice. I really appreciate that. Um, also, on Skype, for example, when you go on Skype, you see here um, on the left, it's it's really nice. It's transparent. It just takes the depth to the background, and it. It looks exactly like iOS 7, or well, iOS 7, but it in in on Mac. And so there's also this nice um, notification center. So it it changed obviously. So there's notification center and today. Well, mine is in French. I'm gonna change to English my Mac. But uh, here there's a calculator, so you can add some some. Uh, you can add any widgets you want. For example, the calculator. You can take it off. For example. This is a beta version, so yeah. So, um, so here's this, the cat. So this is the beta two. So the beta two got released a couple of days ago. I'm not sure when. So here's uh, here's the weather, the time, and here's here's the notifications. For example, the my emails and my last Skype messages. And <clears throat> you can call you can call with your Mac for now, but not in the beta for now. Not now. You can't, um, not for, not yet, at least. So, uh, we, we, you can, you will, you will be able to, but not for now. You can only FaceTime for now, and, like, do fake vocal FaceTimes. And the whole interface kind of changed, and, like, also these little icons, they changed, see here, and now it just goes like this. This is a little bug that happens. It's, uh, that they're gonna... I hope they're gonna fix it. And so now, when you double click on it, it kind of takes the whole thing. When I go to Safari, for example, well, it's already there. But imagine your Safari is like this. Double click on it, and it does this. And um, so here, all the thing, this the battery thing is longer. It's it's nicer for me. And um, everything important, for example, here when you, uh, this also is transparent. And now you can also. Uh, use AirDrop with your iOS, um, with your iOS enabled phone, and your comp your Mac. So here, when I go to AirDrop, so here I'm with my iPhone 5s under iOS 7, obviously 0.1.1, and I'm not under iOS 8 on my iPhone, but it's okay. It still works. I'm gonna act. So here's my phone. My here's my uh, Isaac's phone. That's me. <coughs> So here I want to, um, I'm going to a website, see this, I'm just going to go Google, for example, it's just an example, and then click on AirDrop, that's kind of strange, Isaacs, sorry for that. Um, I don't think you can go from iPhone to Mac yet, but you will be able to. That's what they showed in the WWDC. But you can go from uh, Mac to iPhone. So, for example, I go here. I go to Google. No, what's all there? And I click here. I go on uh, AirDrop. And I, I obviously activate it on my phone. Then it will 
activate here. Okay. And here's my phone, so. And I just got it. So yeah, it's like NFC. It's a it's a replacement to NFC, which is pretty good because they don't need to add anything in the phone. And and it's software based. The, the something else that's really cool is the spotlight search. Um, here when I go here on the spotlight search, I can search anything on my computer, I can search for movies, I can search for anything, for example, uh, apps, the app store, for example, and it just shows me right here, you see, and it shows me the icon, the place, and yeah, it's pretty cool, it's much better than the old one, that's for sure, that was only showing a little box here, that wasn't very aesthetically nice. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of a little Google thingy. It's like Google, but in a faster way. Um, something else is uh, Safari. So when I go to Safari, obviously this changed a lot. Um, <clears throat> you have this new nice tab, all tab view, so imagine I can add any tabs. For example, here. And I can see all my tabs here that are activated. I just take them off. It's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice too. And um also yeah, I already showed you the icons. And well you can just see the difference in the design. I mean, it's kind of obvious, like and these little things they were not very nice before. They still they they looked like I was six and it was not very nice. So now they have the notifications that are nice not much nicer. The mail application is also much nicer too. You can even send emails that are five gigabytes um that are five gigabytes, so I can just send my my video. Someone will it will show them a link for them to download the video without any problems. So yeah, it's really nice. You can see here, and uh, it didn't change. Just aesthetically, it changed a lot. Yeah, and um, it's kind of the same. So yeah, and uh, let's see. Um, but they they didn't change uh, the um, whatever this is called I forgot they didn't change it I'm sure they're gonna take it off because now with the uh, with the notification center it it replaces that so yeah it's pretty cool and um, uh, let's see yeah the FaceTime I'm gonna go right there. um. The maps, the map search, the plan search is nice too. Um, this is it's kind of my internet is not very good at the moment. Yeah, this is my house. It's where I live, but it's not very interesting. Um, well, that also changed a lot. See how the when you move to places, the toolbar, it it takes the color of what's happening. That's really nice too. Um, also, here, um, for example, it this looks really like an iPad. It looks more and more like an iPad or like an iPhone. And it's really, really aesthetically nice. Uh, the calculator did not change yet. I hope they're going to change it because the icon changed. The icon changed. But the calculator itself did not change. Uh, but we still have this, so we don't need it anymore. And, um, the App Store changed. Well, that's not a very big change at all. I don't even know there's only the toolbar that changed. And, uh, like, it's really nice. You go to your messages and you can make calls. You can also search in the toolbar for, like, a contact, so... This is my dad, and so you just see everything. Now, I'm not I'm not able to call now at this moment um, using my phone number. I can only call with using FaceTime audio. Uh, you will be able, as I said before, you will be able to do that after. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. So that's pretty much it for the moment. Uh, next, oh yeah, I just forgot one thing. Uh, so I got the transparency. They normally they don't they didn't put the dark mode yet, but 
you can find it on YouTube how to do it. They just give you a code, you go to terminal, you type it in and it changes it. So that's really nice, the transparency there and also there. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, see you on the next video. Please subscribe to my channel for more great videos, the, the new betas, what has changed in the new betas, iOS 8, when I will be able to retrieve it, which I will soon, um, and some really, really great tutorials that I have. Uh, yeah, so see you. Bye.